After I have my super giant file in GIMP, I'm going to click Image, Canvas Size, and I've actually set um, a size for the width and height of most of the expansions that I do. So I usually choose 6,456 pixels by 6,456 pixels. I know that sounds like a super insanely large amount. But in GIMP world, I guess that actually isn't. I'm going to say center, and this is where you can see where your image is going to be. So I have some um, files that I'm going to be adding to this that are under and some that are over. So I'm just going to have this as kind of the bottom area of the image, say resize. So I'm going to zoom out, like a lot, <laughs> and I'm going to go back to my files from my SD card and scroll to the different ones that I have. So this one is the top of his head, so I'm going to say minus that, and I drop the image in, it's just kind of loading now because, you know, files are big, files are large, unless you know how to control your stuff. Ooh. Made that up, round spot. Wow, such a genius. Okay, so I'm kind of moving this layer around a little bit. Uh, right click on this and say add alpha channel. Um, so now I'm gonna change the opacity to be very low indeed. And you see how these trees are not lining up whatsoever? Yes, indeed. So I am going to move this so it looks real. Have the opacity a little bit higher and start erasing. So I'm gonna choose the size to be pretty large and I'm just going to begin my erasing thing right here. I always, always, always have to erase the side. So I'm going to zoom in to 33.3%. Make the size a little bit smaller and just kind of erase right here on the sides. And you see sometimes the little checkerboard will peek through. So I'm going to say anti-erase and just put that right back. right click and say merge down and that one image, that one layer will all become one. Um, so now I'm just going to go back to my other images and keep doing that again and again and again. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag this image around to see where it can fit together and sometimes the subject will not match up with the background. That's not, not a big deal, because you can just say add alpha channel and erase, 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 erase. So I'm going to change the opacity and move it where it should be. The opacity is up once again. Go back to erase and I'm just erasing a bit more here. Okay, cool. Minimus. And now I will just keep doing that with a bunch of my other files that I have taken around the image and it will become one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Okay. Uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos, comment down below. Okay, cool. I will see you on the next video that I produce. Wadi doody dum, wadi doody dum, doo dum dee dum. Anti erase it, there are little mistakes. For some reason, my computer does this very odd thing that when it's late at night, it just it works really slow. Is it like actual like thing that happens, or is it just me? I don't know. Very odd.